Hello. Before we begin, remember that if you have any question about math, about calculus, algebra, or any question which is math, just let us know to mathexperts1.com. So, let's begin. We are going to solve a problem which is about that's a problem about the tangent line we are we are supposed to find a given tangent line and just read the problem you, if you if you want you can pause the video we are gonna solve a specifically a uh, problem number 21 and okay before we do it we are just gonna do a quick review remember that this formula that I have right here is a is a way to easily find the directional derivative as uh, so, um, it's very useful is a very useful formula and remember as well that the directional derivative is tangent to the surface so um, I want to I want to, to be a little bit cr uh, clear about this part uh, basically let's suppose that you have you have a well you have a graph something in R3 Uh, here you have your graph something like this you have a vector in this direction that's gonna be uh, a vector in the XY plane so basically this vector with this vector you can just cut you can just cut the, um, the surface and when you cut it you're gonna get something in just two dimensions let's say it's gonna be something like this and you get the tangent at the given point well basically this is this is what you're gonna get with the um, with the directional derivative that's that's what it gives basically and okay about the specific problem what is the first question what are we looking for so we're just looking for a vector v we're just looking for a vector b such that the directional derivative at the point 1.1 point one in the direction v is equal to 0 0.03 okay so how what can you do here you can apply the formula you can apply the formula that i gave you before so what are we looking for? We are looking for this vector, okay? And well, basically, once you once you apply this formula, this is the one that you need to use. You just you're just gonna have an equation. Once you apply this formula, and you're just gonna have an equation, and basically, that's how you can get v. And you just get v in terms of what you want. So basically you're just gonna have uh, something you're gonna you need to have V in terms in terms of A and B so good luck and if you have any questions just let us know 